My name is Natural. I'm from PG County, Maryland, and I'm a visual artist. The name Natural came from when I was growing up around middle school, maybe. Got uh, nicknamed that from a few friends of mine that noticed that I only wore her tones. I got used to that moniker and like, you know, using that as an artist name for me kind of protects me from a persona. So like the older brothers on the block, they taught me how to make no limit covers. And it was like, just like, all right, this is Photoshop. This is how you mask off these diamonds. This is how you mask off this Doberman. This is how you, you know, mask off this cash. But I learned Photoshop that way. Around the same time, I was going to a, a visual and performing arts high school out here, uh, Suitland. You're talking about like one of the like top high school art programs in the, in the, in the nation. And like that, plus, you know, messing around, making these funny covers and stuff. The marriage of that, like, just catapulted me into this world. And back then, you know, digital art was a, you know, it was like a taboo. Like, you know, it was just, there's fine art and there's digital art. I just found that to be exactly on par with where I wanted to go as a, as a creative. And so about five, six years ago, I was in New York. I was a freelancer, you know, jumped out the window from uh, the fashion industry. You know, I decided to kind of move back down here to DC. From there, you know, like I met uh, my fiance now and uh, she kind of put the battery in my back. So she asked me what I needed. I needed a, a computer, a desk space time you know to be able to pay off like pay bills and stuff and so she took all the bills on her back gave me the living room and that's how i got the chance to give my ideas a, a shot six months of that brought a lot of um, opportunities it was like six months later like nike calls and they want me to be on the lebron project so the exhibition and the new body of work it's called 2068 2068 is 50 years from now. 50 years from now, my daughter's daughter or son is gonna be my age. And so this body of work is speaking directly to them. This is a love letter to them. And this new feeling that I have like, um, is, is kind of leaking itself into the theme of the shows. And it's all about uh, generational wealth and how to attain it, how to make it, you know what I'm saying? So being able to show uh, kids here and these things that we're making we're making from scratch you know you could do anything with the camera or a, a drawing on a piece of paper or a sculpture or a performance or whatever it is that has a worth to it down the line and like if you could approach it with that type of authority then you're better off